Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I have a pound stretcher haul for you today. Uh, do apologise if you hear a lot of banging and crashing. Matt is doing some DIY upstairs. Uh, essentially we've got these gigantic things that the previous owners put in the walls and we are really struggling to get them out and they are destroying our walls. So it's not been a good day but we popped down to pound stretchers today because I was watching Mr Carrington a little while ago and he was sharing these storage baskets. And we are desperately trying to organise everything and trying to do it on a budget. And these really large ones are £1.89 and then this medium, it's just slightly shallower but it's the same size. They were one forty nine. so I just picked two of each up. Um, the home stretch, the home stretchers, the pound stretchers is literally right next to the Aldi where we go shopping. So if we need any more we can literally just pop in and grab some and there was no queue in there. Um, then we spotted while we were in there this really cool insect house. The previous owners had one in the garden that I think their children had made with toilet rolls, which obviously we're throwing away, but this was twelve ninety nine. It is a bit higgledy piggledy, but I just really liked it and so did Matt. It's just really, really cool. Um, and it's a really good thing to have in your garden and because we've got a farm behind us we do have a lot of insects and I'd rather they went in this house than in our house. The only problem with this is that there's um, a screw missing and the door's a little bit bent but we'll just get some little screws and we'll fix it. The rest of them all had green tops and I wasn't as keen, I liked this brown. So grab that, as I say, that was 12 99 Picked up some bin bags. So these were 90p, you get 50 fragrance pedal bin bags. I don't really care for the fragrance, I'm not sure if they are fragranced or not. But the ones that we've got are just too big for our bin. So these are only 25 litre ones. So we picked up the, oh, the Fresh Breeze, the Lavender and the Apple. Because we're pretty much changing these daily at the minute. Because we've just got so much rubbish. Um, and the recycling system here is really, really bizarre. Picked up just this packet of seven rubble sacks. This was a pound. Um, again, they've just left a load of rubble that we need to get rid of. And we didn't want to buy a massive roll, but seven we thought would probably be enough. Then I picked up these two items. This is a pack of four forks, which was 99p. And this little scrubbing brush that was a pound. Because the carpet in the bedroom, through the high traffic, like round the bed, it's just so downtrodden. But under the bed looks quite decent so we want to see if we can kind of bring it up and I've seen some hacks on YouTube some with like a scrubbing brush some using a fork to pull it up so I'm going to have a go and see if it makes a difference but I didn't want to use our forks which is why we got these and then if it's not working I can always just take these and put them in the staff room at school then I picked up some of this really fun it's called prune your plume um but I do get waxed I won't go into too much information, but I do get wax and I do suffer from ingrown hairs. So this is the exfoliating wash, the moisturising balm and the ingrown hair solution. And these are all £1 each. Now I buy the um, ingrow solution, the Dr. Inglow or something, I can't think what it's called. And it costs me a lot of money on Amazon. So if this is any good, then obviously this is going to save me a lot of money. So I thought I'd give it a go. We needed some sea salt for our grinder. And I just really, really liked the bottle. We'd actually already picked up these bottles, which I'll explain in a second. And this was one forty nine, which I thought was really, really good value. And as I say, when we used up the sea salt, I would definitely be able to reuse the bottle in some way. I picked up one air freshener because at school I normally have a plug-in diffuser. And the Trust have now issued a, a, a policy, I suppose, that we can't leave anything plugged in overnight, just in case of fire risks and things like that. So it's an absolute pain remembering to plug it in and out every day and then it's just there's no point in it so I just thought if there's only three and a bit weeks left of school until the summer holidays I am back at the minute there's a bit of a backlog of my videos so this probably won't be on for a couple of weeks yet um, because just things are so mental at the moment um, but this was a pound and I thought it can just go on my shelf it will last a few weeks and for a pound it's not a big expense but I just like my classrooms to smell nice and then the final items are my favourite items. It's these Epsom bath salts. So I got the eucalyptus, the tea tree and the lavender. They were one forty nine each. I've actually got some bath salts from, um, where's it from? B&M. The, the white packets, I've got them in eucalyptus and in lavender. We've still got quite a few of those, but I've been looking for a solution on how to display them in the bathroom. And I've been using all different pots and thinking of all these different ways and then I saw these and thought, do you know what? I don't even need to find a new way. I just need to buy these. They are amazing. And if I don't like them with the colours, because our bathroom's white at the minute, but obviously if we change it, potentially we wouldn't want like blue or green or purple in there, for example, then I can buy the white ones from B&M and then just reuse the bottles so I can soak off the labels 
and then how cute would that look like with white bath salts at the top and you could always have like a like use like a cricket and print off some vinyl that says like the scent or something just to kind of go in with your theme but yeah I just thought that was really really cool and for £1.49 I'd pay that just for the bottles and you're getting all the bath salts as well so yeah I thought I'd give them a go so that's my little pound stretcher haul for today and as you can see I finally put up my sofa um, Matt did help but I sort of I project manage I, do, I can't help but take control a little bit anyway um, and I'm better at following the instructions than he is so that's my little haul for today thank you everybody for watching and I'll see you again soon bye bye